This year's a story about two sets of Joneses, Evelyn and Rothschild, and the other couple's names are Reuben and Sue. Yes, they have the same common last name, Jones. They've been randomly selected, but they're different. Evelyn and Rothschild have all the perks of life. Have They have the money, they have the nice job, they have all the things that people desire that they seek after to bring fulfillment in life. And they build their life on those things. Well, Reuben and Sue, they don't have all that. They've got n nothing but Jesus and each other. They struggle to make it sometimes financially. They go through life, through the struggles of life. But yet, when the rains come down, when the wind blows the four walls of their house, which couple is actually left standing? You see, it's not the one that has the money and the job and all the stuff. It's the one whose life is built on the rock, the foundation of Jesus. Because life will happen, and when those things happen, when life comes at you, whether it is a lack of a job, whether it is anxiety, whether it is isolation or depression or whatever your struggle may be, and or, or even sickness, when the rains come down, when the wind blows on the four walls of your house or essentially your life, if you're standing on Jesus, you will be okay. If you recognize this story that I've told, it comes from a famous song by the group Big Tent Revival in the mid-90s entitled Two Sets of Joneses. Well, this story, this life metaphor, it comes directly from Scripture, from the words of Jesus in Matthew chapter 7 in verse 24, when Jesus says, Everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. I want to encourage you today to build your house on the foundation, on the rock of Christ Jesus. And when I say build your house, I'm talking about your life because the rains will come. A lot of people are struggling right now and it's part of being in a fallen world. These struggles happen. There is sickness, there is death, there is loss of job, there is um, fear of the unknown. But when we build our house on the rock of Jesus and not on a sandy foundation that we try to lay ourselves, when we build it on Jesus, we're going to be okay. He's got us. We will be standing on him no matter what happens. As I share this with you, uh, I've even got word today that a, a, a dear friend of mine is sick in the hospital with this virus and is not doing well. And I know this person's life is built on the foundation of Jesus. And no matter what happens to them, they're gonna be okay. My question for you today is, will you be okay? Don't be foolish. Build your life on the foundation of Jesus. Blessings, I'll talk to you soon.